I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Jay Moody of Comtech Command and Control. Jay, thanks very much for joining us. Comtech Command and Control under the Comtech Telecommunications umbrella. What does the division do? Well, Comtech Command and Control Technologies is a, a company, it's a subsidiary, wholly owned subsidiary of Comtech Telecommunications Corporations. It's a very diverse uh, company that deals with telecommunication technologies for commercial and government businesses. And uh, as far as what I focus on, I focus on satellite tracking antennas and radomes in support primarily of the low Earth orbit and medium Earth orbit satellite markets that we see uh, developing throughout the world. Now you mentioned the low Earth orbit uh, constellations. They've been quite disruptive and we're hearing a lot about that. Is it an exciting time for you? Oh, very much so. Uh, you know, five years ago, there probably wasn't much of a market to think of. Now, we had, uh, we've had our uh, design and our product for over 15, 16 years, and we really developed it, as well as the uh, control uh, software as well. So we have a very mature, very effective design. So seeing how things have evolved, I tell people that the, the market's finally coming to us, because we had the niche market, now it's much more of a broader market. So primarily, you see in uh, North America, Europe, but starting to see rumblings of things happening in Asia, and we want to be at the ground floor of that and help, help make that happen. Now, with regards to sectors for your products, I know you're heavily involved in the government. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Well, actually, it's not just the government. A lot of our products, uh, we have a lot of uh, a large commercial customers. You hear about, almost every month, you'll hear about a new large constellation uh, that, that somebody's planning to put up either hundreds or thousands of uh, of uh, satellites and uh, that actually that sector is a very major part of our uh, uh, base right now our customer base and a very a large portion of our uh, marketing focus however you're starting to see the military US military and European militaries starting to show interest in this area so yes we are prepared to support uh, the full line of, uh, of our products because we have the most extensive line of what's called the XY pedestal it's a differentiated from a what's called the azimuth elevation uh, pedestal that you normally see, which azimuth elevation are fine for the, the uh, you know, geo tracking uh, uh, satellites, but something that as far as we have something that's really specialized and really is a very optimized for low Earth orbit and medium Earth orbit satellites, whether for commercial or military purposes. So a company like yours, which has to innovate all the time, how do you keep ahead of your competitors? Yes, uh, you know, an interesting thing is we've kind of like, uh, like I said before about, you know, the market's starting to come to us. We had this innovative design and we kind of keep it uh, sharpened and, and moving forward all the time. So uh, compared to anybody else, nobody else has the extensive line that we have from, you know, 30 centimeter dishes all the way up to seven, eight, nine, ten meter dishes. So and covering from the full range of, you know, L, C, X, uh, SX, K, U, K, A, and actually we're even now looking into the Q and V bands. So we're well positioned to be always pushing to see what the next need is in the marketplace and uh, we're, we're pushing forward in all, all, all fronts. Now the satellite industry has gone through a lot of change and evolution over the last 24 months. What's your take on where the market's going? Well, it's interesting. as you see the small satellites, they are being adopted, uh, recognized uh, for the real potential, not just on the commercial side where you see the SpaceX's and the plant labs and the OneWebs, etc. But now you see the government really step forward and say, wait a minute, there's something real here. And I, I tell people at the different shows we, we do, in the past we never had many uh, government uh, inquiries, but now we are. We are seeing them now, and uh, not just from the United States, but from other uh, countries as well. Jay, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.